It is day 11 of the 16 days of advocacy to fight sexual and gender-based violence across the world. In Nigeria, wives of all state governors alongside development partners gathered at the Congress Hall of the Transcorp Hilton to hold their fourth conference. The conference is chaired by the wife of the Kwara State Governor. The theme of the 2023 conference, Youth Allies Bridging Generations to End Violence, gives credence to our resolve to continue to deepen engagements collaborations and partnerships. According to the Ministry of Women Affairs, there have been 27,698 cases of sexual and gender-based violence in Nigeria between 2020 and 2023 alone. The National Demographic Health Survey notes that 33% of Nigerian women aged 15 to 49 have experienced physical or sexual violence. Only 0.9% of assault offenders are prosecuted and almost none of them are found guilty. Meanwhile, one in four girls in Nigeria are victims of sexual violence, and one in 10 Nigerian boys have been sexually abused. Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs says changing this narrative will involve the participation of Nigeria's youth population. This fresh perspective, innovation and fearlessness from the youth injects new life into our communities. Together, as allies, the youth and the older generation can create a formidable force for positive change. Excited at the prospect of mobile courts to try sexual and gender-based violence, the Minister of Women Affairs believes introducing these mobile courts will ensure swifter justice. When I came in as the minister, a lot of money, hundreds, millions of dollars have been spent in advocacy meetings to end violence against women. It was not working because there was no justice. But today, as we speak, the governor of Kwara State has given us approval through governor's forum for a mobile court to address these issues. Lurking dangerously behind events such as this one is the fact that the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act has not been domesticated in many states across the country. Kayla Magua, Channel Television News.